By Bruce Crescent, very close to the citadel wall, lies St John's Tower. The tower is all that survives the original medieval church dedicated to St John the Baptist, patron saint of air. The Church of St John, first mentioned in 1233, was probably built close to the Castle of Ayr. Originally a small chapel, it evolved into an important cruciform church which mirrored the growth of the town. The interior of the church can only be guessed at, but it must have been magnificent with its many altars dedicated to various saints and its high altar at the Citadel Place end. It had two great bells and a large Gothic window to catch the western sun. This tower itself is probably a 14th century addition. In 1315, the Scottish Parliament met here to confirm the succession to the Scots throne. While it is traditionally believed that during Mary Queen of Scots' visit to Ayr in 1563, she also visited this church. In 1654, the building was requisitioned by Cromwell as part of his citadel. It was used by the soldiers as an armoury and prayer house, with the tower serving as a lookout post. The church was last used as a place of worship around 1688. About this time the site was bought by four prominent Ayr citizens and during the time of ownership the church was demolished, except for the tower which was, and still is, a landmark for sailors. In the 1850s, John Miller, a rich gunsmith and antiquarian, bought the citadel and converted St John's Tower into a Gothic fort come residence called Fort Castle. This castle was dismantled and the tower restored to something like its original state by the Marquis of Butte in 1914. <laughs>